everybody! Welcome to the second book review on my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, written by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. Basically, this book was put out over the course of the year, and they put out a new part as a little novella every month. It has to do with and this is a spoiler for anyone who has not read The Mortal Instruments. Please, if y'all have not read the books, stop watching this review. Okay. So, this has to do with Simon Lewis and his journey to becoming a shadow hunter. I really, really loved these books. I loved it just as much as The Bane Chronicles, which was about Magnus Bane and a lot of his history and his present and just everything about him, everything we love about Magnus Bane and so much was explained about him. The same thing was done in this book. It definitely brought me to tears at certain points but it really, what I love so much was there were loose ends in City of Heavenly Fire, the final Mortal Instruments book, that were tied up in this and I just thank you so much Cassandra Clare and all of the writers for doing this for us. Simon Lewis is one of my absolute favorite characters. He has been through so much throughout the series of the Mortal Instruments and this new book. He went from a mundane to a vampire to a mundane again to a shadow hunter. But the journey between all of that was very rocky and he lost a lot and gained a lot. At the same time. One thing that broke my heart in this book was Simon makes this amazing friend George Loveless and we just we get so attached to him and we sort of expect what is going to happen but we're in denial the whole time while reading it. I know I was. What I really loved about this book though was we saw Simon apart from Clary learning to be his own person and then inviting Clary back into his life and gaining all his memories back. We also see his relationship with Izzy healed, but it's not healed right away. It's written very believably and you understand both sides of the argument in this relationship and you feel bad for both sides, but you feel so fulfilled when they're back together and happy again. They are just such an adorable couple. I, I ship Sizzy really hard. Very, very hard. Sizzy and Malik, those are the two ships I ship so hard in the Mortal Instruments series. And if y'all have to ask me about the Infernal Devices, I'm Team Joessa. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all every single thing that happens in this book. I have told spoilers, but I did warn y'all if y'all have not read the books. I really enjoyed every part of this book and will definitely be purchasing it in hardback when it is released. If I had to rate this book from 1 to 5, I would give it 5 stars. I just really, really enjoyed every part of it. There wasn't even one part that I did not like. It was that good. I hope y'all enjoyed this book review. Continue to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my recap and reviews of Shadowhunters. Bye, guys.